In this video, we present a better version of our electrochemical home oxygen generator. We hope that this would help you to make an oxygen generator more easily at home, of course with the help of a person with some knowledge of science. Here is a list of the components that you can get from electrical, hardware and home appliances shops. There is an item from the medical shop also. Pause the video and look at them closely. It is important to note that the water that you use should be chlorine free, preferably RO water. The home drain cleaner should not have chloride or hypochlorite as these can result in chlorine impurity in the oxygen produced. Here are the images showing you how to assemble the components. This is a photograph of the assembled setup. In this setup, the electrolysis chamber is kept within another box. The box is filled with cooling water. There is no balloon in this revised video. Oxygen generated is directly passing through the homemade water trap and the moist oxygen is sent to the nebulizer through a regulator. It is important to wear the mask such that the oxygen is mixed with the atmospheric air. When the connections are proper, the power is switched on. Remember to ensure that the electrical connections use wires with high current carrying capacity. Bubbles start to come through the water trap. Remember to put only minimum water in the trap so that the inlet tube is immersed in just enough water. More water would mean that the oxygen pressure should be higher for bubbles to come out. Bubbles of oxygen will carry water with it and so after some time water in the trap has to be topped up. The current we obtained in this setup is 22.2 amperes, voltage is 40 volts and the electrolysis chamber shows a temperature of 58.6 degree centigrade after 30 minutes of operation. The room temperature was 33 degree centigrade. At the rate of production of 2 liters per minute of oxygen, we will produce 120 liters of oxygen per hour. This would consume roughly 200 grams of water. So, to run the device for 5 hours at this rate, we would have consumed 1 liter of water in the electrolysis chamber. The electrolysis chamber will get heated up and so it is important to cool the outer chamber with running water. We are working on better solutions for cooling.